Hello and good morning. Today's lesson focuses on the differences between A and so if you have any questions regarding the use of consonant and vowel sounds, all you need to do watch the video till the end because I'll be explaining everything in depth details. So without further ado, let's start the lesson and not to keep you waiting. There is actually one thing that I would like to tell you about, which is when are we supposed to use a and an? Right? Okay, now let's look at the first one, right? Which is a. Now, when are we supposed to use um, a? We're supposed to use it with consonant letters. So, a here with consonant letters now what are the consonant letters consonant letters are a right a doll or um okay or we can say a doll or if you want to have an adjective with the doll we can say a pretty Doll, for instance. So here, why are we using a? Because the first letter is p. So usually, at the sound of the first letter, not just the letter. You have to be very careful on this. You can simply look at the first letter. You need to you need to uh, pronounce it because we are looking at the sound of the first letter, not the letter itself. What do I mean by that? Now let's let's look at this example. Here we have university. What is the first letter? Is U. But U here, is it a vowel or consonant? It is a vowel. But how do you pronounce it? Do you pronounce it as a university or university? So this is the the, uh, the thing that you need to look at. You pronounced as you. So when you so the 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 sound of you is is not vowel. So how do you pronounce it? We pronounce it as you university. So in this case, we use a a university. We don't say an university because the, we are looking at the sound, not the letter. So you have to be very careful on this, right? When it comes to vowel letters, we need to use an with vowels. Another thing, for example, we have here. How do you, what, okay, how, how do you pronounce it? Apple, a. Uh. So because it is a, uh, so we use an. As for the vowel letters are just five, all right? Which are A, E, I, O, U, all right? So these are basically the five letters that you need to look at. Why do we call them vowel sounds? Because we are not looking at the word, the letter itself, but we are also looking at the sound. How does the word sound? All right. So let's look at the first word, which is orange. What is the first letter? O. And how is it pronounced? O, oh, so an orange. The same thing with the second word, umbrella. If you look at the first letter, the first letter of umbrella is U. And as we know, U is a consonant letter. But we are not looking at just the letter. We are also looking at the sound of the letter. So how does that sound? It sounds as a, uh, umbrella. So because of the sound, we add an, an umbrella. The third one is elephant. 
So, because the first letter is E, and the sound is also E. So, which is a vowel sound, we add an, an elephant. And also with apple, the first letter is a, uh, and also the sound is a, uh, so we add an, an apple. All right. Now let's move into the other one, which is consonant sounds. So basically, we need to follow up with the same, which is about looking at the first letter of the word. So we need to look at the letter as well as the sound. So so it is pronounced as t, so it is consonant, and so we add a, a table. The second word, ball, because the first letter of ball is b, so we add a, a ball. The, the third word is volcano, because the first letter is v, volcano. So we have to, so we add a, a volcano. And the last one is star, because the first letter is S, star, so we add a, a star. So this is basically what you need to do with the other letters as well. So all you need to do, you need to look at the first letter of the word and you need to read it because pronouncing the letter is so important as it tells you whether the letter is vowel or consonant. Right? I hope you managed to understand everything in this tutorial video. And if you have any questions regarding what I taught in this lesson, please let me know in the comment section. So yeah, um, uh, I will see you soon on the upcoming tutorial video. Wish you a good day and bye-bye.